Hey guys, it's Green Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to, I think, what, episode 10? Yep, of season 3 of The Rising of the Shield Heroes. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Are we finally, finally, getting back to one of, having an episode, I'm wondering where the fuck old boy is. Oh my god. What, hold up. If she says she didn't break it, then why are you going to have her apologize? <gasps> Fuck you! Excuse me? Really, dog? Hmm? You two are still arguing? Children. I mean, you might as well go. Mm. 
<laughs> well, he just did. I think that's fine. <laughs> you sure? Girl, <laughs> well, I can't say they all ate like seconds, thirds, fourths. <laughs> when you go to Golden Crawl or Old Country Buffet. <laughs> But it is. Now, okay, I got a quick question. So why is Iski... None of his people died like runs, right? So why is he traveling by himself? I mean, we all know he met bitch along the way. Because, duh, opening, but... No. See him anywhere?
Just don't get drunk. <laughs> That might not be him, though. Oh my god, puppy. Go to the meow. Well, damn! Oh my fucking god. Right? She's a liar! I mean, and besides, she's already screwed three of you over. Unfortunately. I mean, well, you know what, Rough Talia? Sometimes you gotta be violent. In this situation, we have to be violent. I'm here for it. But my thing is, why hit Risha like that? Like, damn. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. I I'm away. I'm away. I'm away until we're done with the episode to say what I got if I can say. Because, oh! Huh.
So they said shit about you, parted ways, and then came back. Can I go on a rage farm as well? You know what? Um, hold everything. I mean, hold the fuck up. I was not expecting that. Yeah, yeah oh, okay. And she's probably the only one who can get through to him. Are you serious? Are you nuts? And you think by fighting with him, you'll be able to talk to him? What am I, the Queen of Sheba? Yeah, you are right. I mean, because you are essentially kind of OP now. I, and you know what? Fuck it. I say let her do it. I mean, honestly, this is just for her. She needs this. She'll make him listen. What you are. Yes. Y'all are literally gonna try to scale Eski into fucking slavery? What the fuck is wrong with the- The fuck? What the fuck is this episode?
right? I feel like that's a lie. I don't consider that a cliffhanger. Mm -mm. That's okay. That's a high point though to end the episode. Thank God it ends right there. I mean, I cannot imagine if we started the fight and then I probably ended. Then I probably would have been pissed. Okay. This bitch right here. I mean, going through not one, not two, not three, but all four guys. Like it's nobody's fucking business. <sighs> Deceiving them. Once again, I need her to go. Can, can we please? Can we please kill her off? That's all I fucking want. Please, for the love of Christ. For everything that is holy, she needs to go. It's either she gets killed. Or she gets exiled. And in a way, she's kind of already gotten exiled. So exiled her even more. So that she cannot talk to anyone. From where she used to live. I'm just freaking saying. But okay. Let me go ahead and say this. The way that she's like corrupted Itsuki. And I'll say Itsuki and Ren. You you could say. Not really nothing. But you could say what's his face as well. But in a way. I could, The only thing I can compare this to. And. Mm, how should I wear this? <laughs> <coughs> Do, when I say this, do not get offensive and such. Um, but this is only how, you know, your yeah, girlie's been taught from her mommy and such like that. Um, to me, in this moment, and because, of course, she's like, oh, psh, got to show him how the world, world is. And because how he's been so corrupted and so into her, it's almost like, okay, all he fucking cares about is pussy. But at the same time, like, she ain't giving anything up to him. That's the thing. But she, she says, because she's using her aura of persuasion, let's say, quote unquote, pussy. Um, that is how everyone is so easily, um, persuaded by her. She's very good at manipulating anybody and changing the situation so that she's the one that looks good and you're the one that looks bad. I mean, number one, that's just women in a nutshell. I'm not going, I don't do that shit. Okay. I'll say that. But, um, she a bitch. She need to fucking go. Exile. Taylor. Time to go. 
It's been time to go. She should have went good. Episode one. Episode one was her true fucking colors. That's when she should have fucking gone. But because we had to have a whole freaking season of us learning more about her, and, yeah, you know, fuck it. Like, kill her. Please. Do it now. Okay? If she's in the light novels, kill her. Just kill her. There's no reason for her to be here anymore. Kill her. Okay? We, we good? Just kill her. She don't need to be here anymore. But, I mean, honestly, for Risha to, you know, to do this, like, I'm really proud of her. Especially with how much she's grown from season two to season three. She's grown really beautifully. And everything that she's done and gone through and trained for, this is her ultimate test right here. It is fucked up that she is going against someone who she really, truly really cares about, but sometimes you have to do those things. And once again, as I said, she is the only one who is able to get through to Itsuki. Now, do I feel like by next week, are we probably going to get like somewhat of an Itsuki backstory? Maybe. I would like to see it, especially because we are so close to the end of this and it's only really, what, 12 to 13 episodes? Because I don't think we're getting... Um... A full 24 episodes like, um, I was about to say Agent Mind is Fried, but no, that is one. Um, what the fuck is the name of the show? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> so many fucking shows. Um, it's gonna come to me, but it, no, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna look it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're just, we're gonna cheat. Sometimes you gotta do that ish. Let's see. I'm on the wrong freaking thing. Well. Oh. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Misfit. Miss Fit of Demon King Academy. Thank you. Ha 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 ha. What the fuck? Oh, why did I make two playlists of that? That's weird. Delete. Very weird. Hmm. Probably will not question that at all. Probably will. Whatever. But yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. It might be like that because you know that has a second se well, a second occur, and we're going to get answers on the situations on that show, you know, later on next year. But yeah, I mean, I think I was expecting this to be a little bit longer with this season and not the initial 12 episodes, especially with, you know, <laughs> season two. <laughs> um, I thought they would have probably learned their lesson. Like, yes, let's make 24 episodes again. But I get it. You do what you got to do. But, I mean, this was a really interesting episode, especially for Risha herself, really, because this was her episode. This is her episode. But I still feel bad for Iski because he is getting fucked over by people who were once his comrades and a bitch. And I get it. She wants to teach him... You know, I, the real world ain't, you know, sunshine and rainbows and butterflies and fucking ponies and shit. Um, but damn, not like this. Are you fucking kidding me? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 10 of season 3 of The Rising of the Shell Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next either Wednesday. Monday. Don't, don't forget that I just said that. Next Friday or Saturday for episode 11. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.